Coastal Carolina is so worried about the speed of that defense for App State, and we've seen it. But McCall was able to neutralize that speed with his quickness, and he throws a strike to the 29-yard line. Still on his feet and inside the 20, down to the 17-yard line, excuse me, Isaiah Likely again. <laughs> Boys, I laughed. I laughed for five straight minutes. I couldn't stop. <laughs> Paul McCall, even with his John Wayne grit, is spun down at the 25 there. Dale Jones, the defensive quarter, dialing up some pressure here. Getting after him. It's, it's really Taylor, though. Pressure from the safety coming in there as well. Well, let's see what John Wayne can do here. Third down and a <laughs> long way to go. Ball comes out. And Coastal is able to recover. Guess who again? Well, it's number nine, Demetrius <laughs> Taylor. Sweating it out down there on the sidelines. Well, this has the distance. Is it accurate enough? Yes! Massimo Biscardi, the first generation American. Lawrence behind center. All right, so after a penalty first down at 15, they're going to stay with what's been working, and that's Cameron Peoples. And he works hard to get across the 30 and close to a first down. Peoples 13 carries 110 yards already and he's going to get another carry and he gets to the edge. What a burst as he gets to the 48 yard line of Coastal Carolina. Thomas on third and eight running out of time. He's pressured spun away and now he is down. He's got to got to get rid of that football. You can't take a sack. Chandler Staten from 44. You bet. Another <laughs> wrestling reference for you. I love That's that. That's two now for me. Third down and eight. McCall forced out to his right. Eyes downfield. And that is incomplete. McCall. Pocket collapses and down he goes. Boy, that's the pressure and the sack that they needed. Sperlin, one of the most improved players on that App State defense coming home. You know, you've got two timeouts left. You've got plenty of time. You're out near, getting closer to midfield. There you go. Thomas, right on target to Christian Wells, the exciting redshirt freshman. Out of timeouts, 13 seconds to go. One point lead for App State, looking for more. Thomas has Wells caught. Touchdown. Christian Wells with his fourth touchdown catch of the season. It's a big one. Line of scrimmage, and what a ball. The touch drops it right in like a dime. Javon Hiley went in motion. He's been quiet today. Their top receiver, McCall, will tuck it and run. Good decision inside the 40, the 30. He could go. 15, goodbye, touchdown. Yeah, Grayson yeah. McCall. Yeah. 63 yards to the house. This run by Grayson McCall. Nothing open down the field. Come out. And just really good effort. Breaks it back inside. Shows you that he's more athletic than people think. And the shots are right back in it. Third down and seven. Thomas taking a deep shot. He's got a man. It is... Caught by Malik Williams. And he gets it to the 20-yard line before being tackled. To do some of that stuff, he says, yes, absolutely. Thomas has to be more accurate, and our wide receivers down the field have to come up with big plays. He's already hit a 44-yarder today. This is a 37-yard attempt of the senior from Gainesville, Georgia. Four receivers set. Marable in the backfield. McCall, again forced out of the pocket, throws on the run, and that will keep the drive alive. Top corners, in fact, Pro Football Focus rated them as the top tandem in the country. Marable finds a seam up the middle. We have not seen a lot of C.J. Marable. A thousand yard rusher last year, he's been limited today. Marable to the right of Grayson McCall, the redshirt freshman, takes the snap, fakes the run, lobs it up to Marable, touchdown! Boy, that was a nifty play. Sold the fake. 
and lobs it into the hands of his running back, who was wide open. 18-yard pass to cap a 10-play, 65-yard drive. When you don't play your keys, bad things happen. That happened to the Marco Jackson right there. Class here at the Harvard of the South, I learned that lightning bolts are power and energy. Thomas Hennigan with the catch. The ball comes out, but they're going to say Hennigan was down. Mountaineers are 6 of 10 on third down today. You got your two young freshmen at the bottom of the screen. Thomas pumps, throws, and it is intercepted. Picked off at the 35-yard line. Zach Thomas and the Mountaineers have it. First down and 10 at the midfield line. They're going to dump it off to Noel, the running back. He's going to cut it back up the middle. Spinning away from tacklers. Finally wrapped up inside the 45-yard line of Coastal. Setting up from 45. That would be his longest of the day. Looking good. And he got it. Chandler Staten. Big puts kick. Appalachian State back in front by two. Sean Wade, one of the best corners in the country with that interception to put him up 42-21. Yeah, it's not coming easy for the Buckeyes, but they've got the momentum now. There's a nice play by the defensive front for Appalachian State. Jordan Earl, the nose tackle, made that stop. And we got a tight ball game for what might be the Sun Belt Championship. Big hole, Marable finds the sideline, gets to midfield. Had one man to beat, Gene Charles, and he is able to catch up and push Marable out. Cut back by Marable, right there. Wide open, and the angle by Smith is not good. Smith has a bad angle, can't get him on the ground. Coastal gets a touchdown here. It's going to be really interesting and dicey down the stretch. Play fake. McCall going toward the corner, and he's got a receiver caught. McCall could be dangerous with his legs. And he heard you. Ball comes out. Did he cross the plane? I do not see a touchdown signal. But I see an App State recovery in the end zone. The ruling on the field is a fumble going into the end zone and recovered by the defense. The previous play is under further review. Watch right here. It's the ball. I think he's short. If he keeps the football out, Clay, and extends it. 47-7 and seven against conference opponents since joining the league in 2014. Thomas going to Wells again, and it's picked off. Spill him. Undercut that route, and it's an interception. He tries to hit the, the deep one. It's a bad throw and a great play by Spillum in the shots. Is first down goal to go inside the five. Out of the timeout, McCall hands off. Touchdown! Shot of clears. Shamari Jones. It's not the end of, or the worst thing in the world for him to score that soon. They rush three. Thomas, down he goes at the seven. C.J. Brewer. Knew how tough this test would be today against Appalachian State. It's coming down to this fourth and 22, perhaps. Intercepted. Thomas is picked off for the third time today. Strong takes it all the way back for a touchdown. And that's the haymaker. With his second INT, and he takes it all the way back to the house to apparently put this game away. Winning a fifth straight Sunbelt title are very slim right now as Grayson McCall and the Shauna Clears celebrate here in Conway, South Carolina. They go to 8-0, 6-0 in the Sunbelt.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.